The Gina and Maddie podcast. Speaking of sports, this Saturday, all eyes are going to be on East Gosford, our paradise, uh, Industry Group Stadium, the grand final happening. We've got the Mariners taking on Melbourne victory in a, a game for the ages. It's going to be an absolute vibe. Gina, I can't wait to get around the atmosphere. Yeah, just the atmosphere. We went um, last year mm. and the people that we were, we went out to, that's the night that we tried to get into the Gosford Leagues and Lottie <laughs> couldn't get in because she doesn't look older than they 12. They tried to slap an underage wristband on me. <laughs> <laughs> but there were so many that's people. That's the so, reason, sure, so, yeah. That's why you weren't let in. Yeah, right. So be prepared. Like you, You've got to take your time. Mm. You allow plenty of time to get in there because mm. there is going to be a lot of traffic, but just be patient, wear your blue and gold, get ready to cheer and we're going to have the best night ever. Yeah, there's going to be uh, – the Central Coast Council announced this morning uh, that there's going to be a live site set up at uh, Leagues Club Park just across the road from the stadium. It's a free live site event. There's going to be a giant screen streaming the match live. It kicks off from 4 o'clock. Obviously, kickoff of the game is 7.45. So before that, there's going to be food, entertainment, live music, activities for all ages before the kickoff at 7.45. Parking is available at Gosford City Car Park, Gosford Train Station Car Park and Adcock Park uh, as well which is only just like a 10 minute walk to the stadium. Um, yesterday I was fighting for my life in the front oh. seat of the Star 104.5 vehicle. If you <laughs> if you were anywhere between Erina and Tugra yesterday and saw the van on the road after nine o'clock, I apologise. Uh, that wasn't me driving. There was a guy in a ute who pulled up beside me and it was, just gave me a bit of a wave. It was like, I know what you're going through here, mate. Like you just sort of looked at me and gave me a, like a knowing Did nod. Did you say blink twice if you're not okay? Oh my God. <laughs> I think he was waving at me, actually. <laughs> actually, that's probably more likely. No, I'll go with that one. I was wondering why he was holding up his phone number. Now I know. Uh, producer Loz and I went up to uh, the Centre of Excellence. We got there just, if you've been listening, you would have heard about uh, Lozzie's driving. I had to indicate for her a couple of times. Had to uh, was very loose. Mm, Chose to, um, didn't need to, <laughs> nearly got just, smacked. <laughs> not, you're not driving around in your little uh, mobile. You had like Gina and my head on the back, and I'm like, okay, all right. You, do you need to turn here? You're turning here. You're turning here. I was like, okay, no, that's all right. Eyes on I the should road. Have come. Do you remember what I said to you? It's not uh, my face, it's on the back. That is exactly what you said. <laughs> that was just when you almost ran over someone on a pedestrian crossing and went down oh. the wrong way, down a, a one-way car park. But that's fine. And then you ended up parking illegally somewhere on a grass medium strip some, in a bit of mud. You made me get out and it was like a pile of mud where I stepped. I'm like, oh, God, now I've got to go talk to the Mariners. I'm all sweaty and nervous just from your driving. What a <laughs> It was so much fun. We got there. We got to watch them do a full training, a full light session, which was an hour. Uh, the boys were put through their paces by the gaffer, and Mark Jackson. They were doing some stretches. A few ladies in the front row there were very excited about some of the fence stretches and lunges that were going on. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Uh, not me. I was, I was just getting ready to ask some questions. A big thank you to the Mariners as well because they gave some great access. You can see the full chat that I had with the lads uh, up on our socials, Star 1045 or Gina and Maddie. But they did have some very kind words for the fans and members that have been supporting the team for a while. We appreciate all your support and you're like the 12th man on the field so we appreciate everything and we don't take it for granted and we want to put on a good show so make sure you get down there and um, cheer us on to hopefully get it done. No, I just appreciate all your support throughout the year and thank you for everything. A big thank you to to the supporters who have been with us the whole time. Uh, yeah, we feel that excitement and, and uh, it's fantastic that the game's at the, at the stadium so um, yeah, Looking forward to seeing everyone there and, and um, yeah, celebrating with everyone afterwards. We appreciate you all. We appreciate all you've done for us this season and you know, hopefully we can go out with a bang and we hope to see you Saturday and give you what you deserve. We never underestimate what you guys bring to the, to the club and the community, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, great Aww. guys. Thanks to the Nisbet and the team there and Vukahu had a chat with us. Harry Steele, my girl, was there having a chat. Found out who the biggest pest is in the team as well and it was almost unanimous uh, They threw who they threw <laughs> under the bus. Check the video out on the socials. The Gina and Maddie Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.